that come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment of reflection on the day, coming to a close. thinking of all that the day has been especially the things that weren't so so much of a blessing we say most merciful God we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You will comfort me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your right hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished, already in your book were all my members written as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God, how great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 58 verses 6 and 7 Is this not the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, 
to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked to cover them, not hide yourself from your own kin? Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Father, as night falls where we are, as day ends, we bring before you the things that have touched us this day, for the blessings, for the joys, for the challenges, for the sadness, for the situations that have caused us pain. And Father, we bring to you all those this night for whom we pray. We bring to you all those this night who are in hospital, who are suffering from COVID, who have other afflictions and illnesses, physical, mental, emotional and spiritual. And Father, in a day where in the last 24 hours we've gone past 125,000 deaths as we head to four and a half million cases. Father, we think of those this night who will be praying for loved ones who may leave this life. Lord, as the very words that we've said in this service bring before us that Christ died for us and whether we wake or whether we sleep, we will live with him. Father, we pray for all this night who are heading towards the end of this life and don't have that assurance, don't know that confidence. Lord, even in this last minute, last hour of life that we have, may we, may we find ourselves in your arms in the place where your love is real for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the world around us. As the jury selection continues in the George Floyd case, Minneapolis, a city, has reached a $27 million agreement with the family. Lord, that may bring finance, that may bring some salve, but it doesn't bring back a life. And Lord, as we think of the loss of life, we think of the family of Sarah Everard, a woman whose life was taken wrongly too soon 
cruelly. And Lord, we pray that justice would be done. We pray that peace might be found for the family and the friends of this young woman. And Lord, we thank you that we live in a country that is so inherently safe. But when you look at our nation and all that it is, when you look at the statistics for murder in the UK, Father, we live in such a such a safe place. But we pray for those who don't. We pray for those who live in places that are so fearful, so dangerous. And Lord, last year was the number of murders, the number of deaths was just on 700. When we look at that, that's 700 too many. And we pray for the young men, especially, who get caught up in gang and drug warfare. We pray for the victims of domestic violence. We pray for those who've been taken by intentional wrong acts. And Lord, we pray that all those whose lives have been lost this year, for whatever the reason, that they would rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, help us to communicate the realities of the safety of our nation. Lord, help us to communicate the love of a God who goes to a cross that eternal life might be ours. Lord, make that promise real in the lives of all. Make that promise real in the lives of those whose lives are taken, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for those we know who are unwell, for Jim, a man on the canal system who's in hospital and very poorly. We pray for our friends and family, for a colleague who has been revisited by cancer. For Maureen Williams and for Kevin and Lizzie and Patsy and so many people known perhaps only to us. We pray for our friends in care homes, our relatives, our neighbours, comrades, colleagues. We pray for those who are mentally ill, that they would know peace, stability of mind, and we pray for those who care for the mentally ill, as medical professionals and as family. We ask that you would be a salve to the pain of caring for a loved one who is mentally ill, who physically looks well, but is out of the reach of general medical care. We pray for our parents, our grandparents, our children, our brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and all of our families. That they would know your presence, that they would know your peace, your healing and your protection. And we pray for ourselves that you would be with us this night, be with all this night. That we might sleep, that we might rest and wake ready for a day of blessing and opportunity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And so, Almighty God, may we, by the power and discipline of Lent, enter into the mystery of Christ's sufferings, that by following in the way we may come to share in the glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour, Jesus Christ, taught us, we pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, gentleness, discipline and peace. Amen. So as we go to our beds, we pray that your arms would wrap around us, your peace would be within us, and your protection upon us. Lord, help us this night, and whether we wake or sleep, may we be in confidence and assurance of our eternity and our presence in and with you. Take care, guys. Bless you. Stay safe. Catch you soon. Bye.